It is said that most people reach a physical peak at some point in their lives. For many professional athletes, this peak is somewhere between 27 and 32 years old. My name is Larry. I've always tried to keep myself in great shape. I've been playing competitive sports for almost 50 years, at McGill University, in other leagues, and in several sports. For more than 40 years, I've been playing sports at McGill and winning numerous trophies, often playing with people less than half my age. Now, at 62, I'm going to put my fitness to the test by doing the most demanding thing I've ever attempted, and before arthritis takes away my knees for good. I plan to cycle most of the way around the world in one year, through 28 countries, across three continents. It's a journey that's sure to push me to the limit. Why am I attempting this difficult journey? At my age, it's quite risky. Truth is, I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but life kept getting in the way. The upside of waiting this long is that I'm somewhat more mature than I was 40 years ago. So this journey won't be the kind of alcohol-fueled hedonistic adventure like in the old days. Now I have a reason that's much bigger than me, that is pushing me to really do it. At 62, it's now or never. I want to do my part to help heal the planet. Sustainable energy solutions, like wind power, are effective at reducing CO2 emissions, but they come with their own challenges, like what to do with the materials when the wind turbine is at its end of life. That's where I come in. As a professor of engineering at McGill University, my research is dedicated to the recycling and reusing of advanced materials. Over the course of my career, I have developed and patented many new and improved techniques for making things out of carbon composites, from chess sets to aerospace parts, musical instruments to sports equipment. More recently though, I've been using this knowledge of materials to develop more sustainable methods of recycling. The fiberglass here came from a wind turbine. We ground it up, we'll make filament out of it, and then we'll make more honeycomb out of it. So it becomes a circular economy. Now it's time to spread the word. I intend to visit 20 to 30 universities in various countries, talking to some of the world's leading researchers in materials recycling. I will present my research ideas and also promote other great sustainability initiatives going on at McGill University. This bicycle trip will unite my two passions, cycling and recycling, in a low emissions, adventure-filled journey. At this pivotal moment in our history, with the effects of climate change forcing us to reevaluate our relationship with the planet, we all find ourselves asking the question, what can I do to make a difference? For me, this trip is my chance to get out there and do my part, for my children and for theirs, by nurturing the conversation around recycling and inspiring others to take up the challenge.